because like, yeah, so you can't tell, like, you can follow me through my sobriety. Like, I don't know. I'm down. So if you could have any advice to somebody who's like in your predicament right now, like what, like what do you what do you want to tell yourself to like you know? Uh, the big, my name's Dan. I'm a meth addict. I'm an alcoholic. Although I didn't start using crystal meth until I, um, six years ago. I've been functioning alcoholic for twenty something years. Um, so it didn't have as many consequences. South game for 1997. I went to Cal State Fullerton and a BFA in graphic design. And I worked down the street here in Newport for Pacific Coast Sport Fishing for a lot of years. And after my mom died from cancer, I got switched on to meth and I lost everything in two years. It took that fast. I've been in and out of recovery ever since. And right now I've lost everything. And uh, I'm homeless. It's been really hard. You know, I don't like go on on the street. I'm mean, from the street, so it's even, it's not, it's not better or worse for anybody else, but like, it's just not fun. And you lose everything one piece at a time, and it's really horrible. Damn. So, fortunately, there's been a divine intervention, and uh, I'm going to try it again. You're going to try it again? I'm going to try it again. Hell yeah. How many times does it take? Hey, as many times as it takes, bro. Yeah, because otherwise it's going to be dead. I mean, I hit rock bottom, fell through, and I'm drowning in the wall right now. It's like, it's tough. Yeah, but, but you're on your way, though. You know, it, it, it's all about staying grateful. Because I can be like, oh, man, I got arrested today. I did a bunch of things I shouldn't have done last night. I didn't get in trouble. And then... I got arrested for uh, being under the influence of a controlled substance in public. And I have a court date, but that's like, what? I don't have any more law problems, so it's not going to be that big a deal. But it could be a lot of And then the nice policeman, like, found me these clothes because they arrested me naked. And then I panhandled for two bucks for the bus. But I reached in my pocket, and now I have four. That means the cop put two bucks in my pocket. That's not really. Yeah. So. so wait, the officer put two dollars in your pocket, so, I could so you bus. could take the bus today. Yeah, because I told him I was gonna go to my spot and sleep and clean up. That's awesome. Yeah. So 